Hey guys, welcome to Offshoot Comics Off Topic. We're your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. Also known as David Clark. And Walter Bryant. And today we're talking about the Avatar Korra season three premiere. Yeah, now she doesn't suck. We we like we liked it. Nick. She doesn't suck. You back on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh after what a year we and have three no quarters. hate we have no hate for her this time I mean, I mean a year and three quarters of sucky she's avatar she's, she's tougher yeah she don't take no mess she doesn't care about boys like her and um girl who I thought was evil but turned out not to be evil yeah they're, um, they're friends they're like, yeah they're friends and like stop being awkward we're just gonna go save the world real quick like can you get over yourself Mako he's like I don't want to be and they're laughing at him it's cause it's funny <laughs> he's like you were with both of us simultaneously for a year Twice. Yeah, and you're just awful. But I, I love the fact that real bending has returned. Yeah, they're that it's back. Actual not that little three on three. They're like, no, I'm destroying the entire street. <laughs> yeah, because like you know the the whole bending um, games thing is cool. Yeah, but I mean it's so organized and nobody gets hurt. Exactly. Um, so I'm I'm happy that that's back. Uh, Zuko. Zuko has made an appearance, and unlike previous Fire Lords, he doesn't need an escort. He just shows up as him with no armor. And a dragon. Yeah, and a, oh, he's a dragon. And since there were <laughs> only two dragons left on the planet... He made a dragon. He's like, you know what? Ugh. Crystallized fire. <laughs> Either that or he just has one of the last two dragons on the planet. Either way yeah. it goes, you have to be pretty doggone awesome just to be riding dragon. your dragon. Yeah. Um, and you know, he, he, he's, he's back and he's epic. Uh, uh, what's his name? I always get his name wrong. Tenzin's brother. The one, the failure. Oh, I don't know. Um, Boomy. Bo- yeah. Boomy, because he's the answer King Boomy. I know. I'm back now. Avatar fans, I'm sorry. Um, Boomy is an airbender now, along with what appears to be hundreds of other people throughout the entire nations. Yeah, like, it, basically, we had an X-Men event. Yeah, where, um, uh, Harmonic Convergence. Yeah, activated yeah. airbending for, like, a whole bunch of people. And randomly. Boomy's like, I'm not a failure anymore, guys. I'm not a failure. Too bad Dan's not here to see it. Yeah. Had, had Korra, you know, not lost the avatars, and could have been like, I'm so proud of you, son. But now he's just like, dead. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, no, on the, on the other side of that, he's still kind of a failure. Because every other person who has gotten airbending has immediately had some weird mastery of it. He had to have a but, plate thrown in but his see, but, but it's okay, though, because unlike them, Boomy knows how to fight and has actually been through war. So he got his I, butt kicked by a thirteen no, no. year old. I, I think if it was a, if it was an actual fight where it was like it's you or me, uh, he would win. Because remember, he's grown up his whole life fighting benders. That's true. Like real masters. That's true. I mean, his dad was like the best airbender, so I'm pretty sure he knows how to. And his brother is now the best yeah. airbender. He can. I'm sure. Like if, if he would, if he really wanted to kill that kid, which he wouldn't, not in front of his niece. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he would, he would have taken him out. His niece is gonna get into so much trouble. With yes, his, his niece is in. Uh, uh, she seems to be. Janora, right? Yeah. Yeah, Janora seems to be having a crush on one of the first airbender they recruit, this 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 thief kid. Kai. Um yeah, who is this season's uh Jet. Uh, Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Except for the un- unlike Jet, he seems to be going to be around. Yeah. For uh, maybe we don't know. I don't know, he could die next he, season. He could die uh, next episode. By the way, there, there's gonna be spoilers, so you know. You should have seen it Saturday, you should have seen it by now. Um the Dai Lee have him now. So I don't know. You never know what the Dai Lee. Well, that's the, tr- they're not gonna kill him though. The, la- the last time they brought a character's love interest to bossing, say he was crushed by a bunch of rocks and died. Well, and, and then <laughs> there's also a love interest that became the moon. It's true. Love interests don't do well unless they were introduced in the very beginning. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, so uh, the the Earth Queen, who is a jerk, and I hate her, um, is creating an Earth or an uh, air, airbending army. Um, and capturing all of them and whatnot. Um, oh, side note. Okay, so before that, the Earth Queen has sent Korra to go collect her money in exchange for her you know, helping with uh, finding airbenders. And what happened? Mm-hmm. What happened? Well, you know, Korra goes into the middle of this uh, city to go collect this this uh, taxes and kicks the crap out of, well, pretty much an entire band of, uh, of thieves. Uh, yeah. Well, at least she thinks they're thieves. But as they're driving away, they're like, you're on the wrong side of this. Now, Side note, we actually said, as we're watching this, they should have probably pulled up and said, hey, Avatar, you know you're being used, right? Right. Yeah, just talk to her. I mean, because she didn't start out fighting. She actually exactly. just stood there and said, we came to collect the taxes. Korra has a lot of patience. Yeah, because I'd have hit him. Like in, in the beginning, when she was talking to the, the president, 
uh, you know, the president was like, the avatars put us in a bad spot, blah, blah. He's like, okay, the next time pure evil comes out from hell to destroy the whole world, you got that, right? Mr. I can't bend. Okay, cool. And he walked <laughs> off in a huff because, yeah. He that's... banned her from the city. She's like, what if? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was leaving anyway. Yeah. I don't need you. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so tired of Republic City. Yeah, Republic City. It's too much like the real world where everyone is petty and useless. Yeah, and then, you know, the whole hating benders and everything. That, that storyline's played. You know, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm, so, I'm glad they're gone. Um, and why does everybody hate benders but then go to the arena to watch them? Because they're not threatening there. They're, really? they're essentially your slaves. So, so a huge disc of earth flying across the stadium that could kill me is not threatening? It's, it's better than the, the giant comet that threatened to destroy the whole world last time. Okay, now, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, so, it's, it's, Sirius is going off to a great start. Zuko is going through all these secret prisons that he knows about in every nation that even the rules of those nations don't know about, which is hilarious. Yeah. So Zuko's like, I'm more important than you. The four people that have been breaking out, um, they're pretty exciting. You got the uh, the guy who had no power, so now has immediate mastery over airbending to like a crazy degree. Mm-hmm. Um, you got him. You got his friend, who's uh, I'm assuming an earthbender who can make freaking lava based on the friction. Um, that was really impressive. Yeah, it was. Like he didn't need big bending. He's like, I just got this. That's all. I'm good. Oh, and another side note. We saw the last Airbender movie. We try to we try to forget it, but it did actually happen. Okay, now in the last Airbender movie, you needed seventeen Dai Li to pick up a boulder about this big. Oh, and they were peasants, but still. Well, okay, all doing, all, all doing that big dance, yeah. and, then, and then and then that was just a lift it, and then one guy throws it. I, oh uh, god! Yeah, now so this guy bad. took three rocks, about this big, spun them together, turned them into a freaking throwing star right. of lava. Cut down an entire prison and then kill people with it. And the best part was, like his friend, the, the airbender who who came to rescue him, he knew he only needed three rocks. He didn't bring anymore. He's like, no, yeah, just toss him three rocks. Then. And I love how like they they kept the airbender guy like, on top of like a coal mountain. They kept the uh, the uh, earthbender on a wood ship in the middle of the ocean. Mm. Um, they rescued a water chick who was held in an active volcano, which seems really irresponsible. <laughs> I mean, it's so irresponsible. Now she's really interesting. Um, she's the first character in Avatar to not have arms. Like that's that was pretty cool. And you know she's like water. As, yeah, that, as, that, as yeah, that, that was pretty. That cool. was interesting because that means she's bending with her mind. And, and very powerful. But yeah. but see, they do have a precedent for that though. Uh, was it was uh, the boom boom guy the? That's next. Yeah, which the fire chick who's in the uh, the uh, Northern Water Tribe. Um, she is. Maybe a descendant of Sparky Sparky Boom Boom Man. Yeah, uh, from <laughs> from, uh, from season one. And, and and the funny thing is, that is his official name, Sparky Sparky Boom Boom Man. <laughs> um, uh, he, he you know she could uh, do fire bending with her mind in the form of explosions and stuff. And uh, that no, she hasn't broken out yet, but she'll know. be she'll yeah, be broken she'll, out she'll be next. next episode probably. Uh, but yeah, apparently these four benders are individually enough to take out any one bender, but all four are gonna take out the world. Um, they're probably going to beat the Avatar. And this time, not because Korra sucks. They're just way better. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, they are, they are really, really dangerous, really, really powerful, and have no souls, apparently. I wonder how they're going to get past the whole Zuko being there. Well, I mean, technically, I mean, Zuko is... Zuko was uh, really powerful by the end of Avatar, I guess, and mostly because... He had to be. He had to be. But, like, he's not the most powerful bender. He's just a really good fighter. Has he ever won a fight? Like, a bending fight? Uh, yeah, when he fought those guys in the middle of that Earth Kingdom peasant village. Right, but usually he usually loses bending fights. Yeah, like, by bending fights, he normally gets his but, but, but he's a but, great but, fighter. But, yeah. he, but, but he won against the, that um, Admiral Zhao, too. That's true, right? But see, it, it's also been 60 years, though. Yeah. And for 30 of those years, it was just him and the Avatar just, like... Palling around, yeah. hanging out. Well, little trouble. If you read Dark Horse comics, they were not immediately friends. In fact, there's actually a point where, uh, you know, Zuko has told Aang, you know, if I become like my father, take me out, right? And there's a point where Aang has to remind him of that. Remember when you told me that? Yeah. Don't make me go there. And Zuko was like, <laughs> oh, right. oh, okay, yeah, we're going to just... Let's be friends again. <laughs> no, but yeah, I mean, he's had 60 years of, of being in the fire. I'm pretty sure he's... I mean, even 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 if he's still weak, 
his weakness is still better than most people's strong. Yeah, and by <laughs> the way, you know, since firebending comes from dragons, and uh, he's got a dragon, right? He's probably been trained by the dragon. Right. I mean, like, yeah. So he has he has probably mastery over the pure firebending styles, you know. Yeah. So, uh, so I'm sure Zuko will put up a good fight. But then again, there's four of them, and he is old. So, that is, I don't think that matters in bending. No, that that will probably be their excuse. Yeah, I plot, 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 plot and do stupidity. Iro Zuko old. has to lose in order for the plot to continue. Iro is actually better than pretty much everybody. They, they they might like hold like the 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 two twins who are running the North, northern tribe hostage or something. Like you let her go or we'll kill them. He'll be like, fine, but I will kill you. I'm going to kill you later on. <laughs> I don't know. Those twins are kind of scary. They're not as scary as those four people. That, well, that's true. They're not anywhere near. <laughs> like because like they may be talented. But those four will kill you. Yeah, but you know, it was funny. Because, like, um, the twins are Zuko's um, grandchildren, right? Or are they, uh, nieces, are they nieces and nephews? No, they, they, they are the cousins of, of Korra. Uh-huh. Um, they're not related to, to him directly. But I believe Zuko is related to um, to Roku. Okay. Who's de- who's now dead forever, by the way. Yeah, because Korra lost him yeah. when she sucked. Yeah. Okay, so, um, but anyway... They, you know, they're all on the elevator going down into the secret ice prison. Yeah. And Zuko is like, yeah, you know, I, I hired a guy who had the same powers uh, to try to kill the Avatar. And he, then he pauses for a second. He's like, well, it didn't work. Right? Like, <laughs> like, like he's at the level of being, like, like, like he's, he's like, he's, he's so old at this point where talking about how you tried to kill somebody is just funny at this point. Yeah, it's just something you, know? you just say like, now. He can probably talk to court, uh, to, um, to Katara. Remember that time I tried to kill you guys? She'd be like, yeah, that was funny. <laughs> you know, at, that, at that point, they're like, look, we ain't got much time left. We can't be holding grudges. Yeah, but then the girl, the girl um, twin is like, <laughs> we yeah, tried well, it too. I tried it too. It happens. And she's our cousin. <laughs> so we're kind of evil. While, while, her, while Cora's dad is, you know, hanging out. Right, he's like, like, hey guys, you both tried to kill my daughter in some way. <laughs> That's uh, uh, that's not cool. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's it's going great. It's off to a good start. Uh, Mako and Bill Lin have met their the grandmother and their family. Um, and we think their cousin, the the fruit stand guy, he sounds like uh, Zuko. Yeah, I, I forget the guy's name. Um, Zuko, the, the Filipino guy who voices I, I, I know what you mean. Oh, okay. I, I don't know. This, I don't know. Can't think of his name either. Oh, we're, we're getting in trouble. <laughs> we're in trouble. Anyways, the guy, the voice of Zuko, I think is voicing that guy. We, if, if, if we're wrong, let us know. But we're pretty sure it's him. Uh, but yeah, we could have looked at the credits, but, but that would be too hard. No, we just watched it and came right here. Uh, but yeah, we we like it. People meeting their family. Things are going forward. Um, Airbenders are back, which is cool because they needed that because they were really running into a problem there. We have definite. We have definite villains. They've already been introduced. These villains remind me of like what well, like, Amon was scary. Because Amon, Amon was scary. Amon but. was scary until you found out what his power was. When you found out what he could do, he wasn't as scary. But these guys, there's no tricks. There's no army. It's just them, and they're going to kill you. Yeah. And I appreciate that, Avatar. I really do. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate the fact that, you know, I, I'm not watching Korra and going... Yeah. And she ain't taking crap from nobody. And th- 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 this is the Korra that should have been. Yeah. I mean, like... After she brings the the Earth Queen back her gold, she actually says to her, "Look, you already used me. You know, you used me to go collect some stuff. You know, you wasn't supposed to have. And, and now we don't know if she actually got gold. We didn't see it. That's true. <laughs> like, she, like she may have figured it, out she, that she was terrible, and she may have either either given her something fake, skip, skipped off the top, or she may be just going to plan on stealing it back with a stealing guy." I don't even know that she actually thought she was doing the right thing when she first got there. But, you know, like, by the well, time she, those guys... She might have until, and then she got, until she got on the ground. was like, this seems wrong. Yeah. <laughs> like, all the people are running away. Why? Yeah. And then when dude said, you're on the wrong side of this, she's like, yeah, I, I think they may be right. Right. You know, so... But yeah, it, it, this, the season seems like it's off to a really she's great smarter. start. And oh there's, there's going to be a core video game, too, which I'm, I'm sure will be good. Um, thank you, Nick, for reviving her. Because I no longer have to say every second of the show this would not have happened to Kiyoshi. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. That was I a mean, mantra the past two, yeah, year, two I mean, years. Honestly, though. most of the things that happened to Aang would not have happened to Kiyoshi. It would have been over. In fact, they should, they should, they, they, they should just make... No, no. I'm talking about Aang too. Oh, okay. Kiyoshi would have walked through the first season too. Yeah, that's really true, yeah. They should just make Avatar the legend of Kiyoshi because she dropped a guy in the volcano. Like, when she did that... I'm like, you are my favorite avatar out of all of them. I thought Roku, the dude with the dragon, would be... No, no, no. Kyoshi. The girl with the face paint. Dude, she, <laughs> she said, 
I killed the conqueror. Like just like you know, it's like yeah. Aang, Aang is on Aang is on oh, fire. Yeah, I killed him. I killed him. <laughs> like, he's like, what did you do? <laughs> like I killed Chin the conqueror. What? Okay, yeah. look, you were supposed to. No, 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 no. I killed him. No, I killed. I him. opened a hole in the ground, made a volcano, and dropped him in it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Kiyoshi like, was awesome. She was my. She was. She was. She's my all-time favorite. Oh, of all the avatars, Kiyoshi was awesome. And they, awesome. she needs to get her own show. And so does Toph, because Toph was also amazing. And also, Zu- uh, not not Zuko. Uh, Sokka's boomerang needs his own show. That boomerang <laughs> has gone through a lot. It really has. <laughs> and, and Space Sword only stick around for like Space yeah. Sword. It only stick around for like five you, episodes. You know, I was so sad when it fell. He's like, bye, Space Sword. <laughs> Oh, Space Sword. Oh, Space Sword was awesome. I'm sure it's around somewhere. I mean, you could cut metal with Space Sword. Right? Yeah, that, oh, was, a, a space that sword. was a great sword. Uh, anyways, though, that, <sighs> season three is going great. We don't hate it, and we will follow up with it with glee instead of rage for now. Yeah, so Sparky Sparky Boom Boom Sparky, Chick. Sparky Sparky Boom Boom. <laughs> it's, it's, we're, we're, we're looking forward to seeing it. like his daughter or granddaughter or something. So. Probably. So she should have that eye in the middle of her forehead. Or, or uh, I, they I didn't think, show her face all the way. So from, I think from what I heard from my, my, my avatar friends, they're saying it might be on her hands, which is th- more dangerous because she can just go, you oh, know. That would be dangerous. Iron Man! Um, so yeah, that's going to be gonna be pretty boss. I'm um, looking forward to it. Also, I want to see what happened to Azula because she's probably still alive. Yeah. And just animate where Zuko's mom is, please. Just do it. Just, just do it. We, we're tired of waiting. It's been like 30 million years. Yeah, like everybody hasn't read the comic book, dude. Just just, just have him mention it. Right, exactly. Like, I talked to my mom last week. Okay, right, yeah. yeah. That's it. That's she might still be alive. Yeah. They lived to be like, Boomin was like 112 or something. Yeah, so, like, yeah, so. But, yeah, that's it for now. We actually like Avatar Core. We were coming into this video expecting rage, but we're happy. We still may make the Rage video. We may make but, the Rage but, video. But it'll be a Rage video about Season the last two, two seasons yeah. instead of Rage video about everything up to now. So, yeah, book three. It's going good. Till nice. next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe, like, favorite, share, all that madness. We love you guys. We do love you guys. And we want you to love us, too. And you're going to hear all that again in about yeah. five seconds anyway. And we... We have a Google Plus account now, I think. So I think we can respond to comments as us. Well, yeah, oh like, yeah, like, yeah, we have we have personal Google Plus accounts, right? Um, so Offshoot Comics won't respond to you. Walter Bryant and David Clark will respond to you. I think. Well, Walter Bryant sure. definitely is responding. Kind of, to now you. we're part of Channel Frederator Network. I think we have a Google Plus account, and it may be attached. I don't. You, if you see a response from us, you'll know we figured it out. <laughs> um, obviously, we're not good at the whole social media thing. You could, you probably could tell that at this point. Um, but until we're next getting better, though. yeah, we're getting better. We're trying. Until next time, we be your host Kirby Kid and Black Superman. See you later, guys. Hey guys, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and share our videos like crazy. That's right, because we love you, we want you to love us, and we want to keep making videos for you. And keep leaving us comments. We love comments. Yes, and we answer comments. Unlike some of the other guys, we'll get out there, we'll answer, and if you uh, have a great comment, we'll make a video about it. And if you have a not so great comment, we will try to address that issue. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thanks. Until next time, we've been your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys.